At Liberty, the club sports program has seen extraordinary growth to reach 32 teams and over 400 athletes, with a total of 20 teams advancing to the national championship competition this past year. With that many athletes, you need a strong athletic training department to prevent and treat injuries and keep the teams going. Angie Witt, the athletic training coordinator for club sports, leads that department and cares for those athletes. I am one athletic trainer for over 400 athletes where um, the athletic trainers for NCAA are basically one athletic trainer to one team. My job as an athletic trainer is to basically prevent, treat, um, evaluate, uh, rehabilitate um, any athletic injuries that our club sports athletes get while they're playing our sports. When all five hockey teams are going, and lacrosse and wrestling, um, we can see um, up to 200 athletes a week. Recently, Angie and her team were given a newly renovated larger facility to help its athletes, which is a far cry from where they were before. I used to work out of the little training room in the rink, which is maybe, I don't even know the measurements of that, it's pretty small, but the size of like a small bedroom really, and, and this room just gives us the ability to treat a lot more athletes. Uh, we're open about seven hours a day for the athletes to come in and out um, for their treatments, their rehab, etc. Angie's love of sports and medicine led her at an early age to work in the field of athletic training. She continues in it because she enjoys helping athletes get back in the game as quickly as possible. Well, I first became an athletic trainer because I love sports. I played sports and I realized that I probably wasn't going to play the rest of my life, but I also love the medicine side of things. I just really enjoy taking care of people and then seeing them go out and perform later and having the athletes come back and say thank you and getting thank you cards in the mail, even from parents. I've gotten thank you cards in the mail from parents. You, you didn't have to do what you did, but those kind of things um, make it worth it. In the end though, working and helping the athletes is more like taking care of your family than it is a job. I feel like they're my kids. Like last night we went to the, last night I went to the hockey banquet and I got a little emotional. Some of those boys, I'm gonna miss. You know, every once in a while I'll have a hockey player say, um, call me their second mom and senior night, Caleb Grow, his parents couldn't make it in because they were snowed in. So I walked out with him as his mom for the night, which to me was a, a great feeling and hopefully it felt made him feel important that I wouldn't invest that much in their lives. I'm not just here to be their athletic trainer. Um, God called me to be a Christian first and to love and to love with his love. And anything I can do, whether it's to, uh, sometimes you just need to give them a hug and say it's gonna be okay. Because um, that's what I'm called to do. I'm called to not just help the physical and the emotional, but my job as a Christian is to guide them spiritually as well. And so I, I take that uh, very serious. And when injuries end a career, Angie points the student athletes to Christ and the hope that we have in him. Sometimes they have um, career ending injuries and that's a hard thing to deal with. I think you gotta give them hope. You know, God has a plan for you, Jeremiah 29, 11. He saw this coming, he's not surprised by it. We've gotta get through it and we're gonna get through it together with his help. So I think um, that provides a hope for them and a hope for me because sometimes we have bad days. But you gotta remember God has a plan.